Hi everyone, I'm Jake, and today we're going to look at advanced geospatial features in Fulcrum that will help you perform and manage field-based data collection. We'll start with power pole inspections. We naturally have a lot of records, but we only want to see the ones for a certain geographic area. So we'll zoom there using the map view and then flip back to the list view. There, we can look at only those records that fall into the map area we've selected. We've been told to prioritize all of the poles within fire perimeters, but we don't know where those boundaries lie. To find out, we'll display a new public feature service layer from ArcGIS. We're already displaying transmission lines, but now we'll add the California fire perimeters layer. Then we can see that one of the red poles is in a prioritized area. We can also see ArcGIS data on our handheld if we need it. Then we can tap on that pole and perform the inspection. These records are pre-populated, so we only need to change the status. As you can see, providing feature service layers to field workers boosts their confidence, accuracy, and productivity. We've seen a close-up view of these layers. Now we'll zoom out so we can see what those layers look like across the state. But of course, we can turn them off too. We've been talking about layers, and you've probably noticed that we can make those layers available offline. But the same is true for base maps. If we select an area that we'd like to have available offline, we can download it easily, so that base map is always available. Finally, let's go beyond public layers like these and connect to ArcGIS to access private feature service layers. When I click Connect to ArcGIS, I authenticate directly with my user ID and password. And when I'm done, it shows me additional layers. In this case, I have private layers from Franklin County and the state of Vermont. What about creating points, lines, and polygons in the field? For this, we'll move to Long Island, New York, where I live. Here you can see six poles on my street. Any record is automatically associated with the inspector's GPS location, but in this case, we've pre-populated the pole locations. We've told the inspectors to go out and correct pole locations if need be. And just for the sake of demonstration, we're going to show an inspector who's performing a lot of different kinds of tasks in a single app, which is a little unusual. Our inspector starts by selecting one pole, performing an inspection on it, adding notes, and so on. But the important thing is that the inspector is going to show the connection points between this pole and the poles around it. So instead of starting where the pole was originally placed, he's going to delete that point then he's going to the next pole over, adding a point, going to the original pole, adding a point, and going to the next pole in line and adding a point there. So the pole that he was inspecting is now in the middle of a line. The same inspector is inspecting another pole when he sees a tree that looks like it needs trimming. So he creates a polygon around the area that, he believes, needs to be trimmed to maintain a safe environment. So the inspector has converted the point into a polygon while still maintaining its relationship to all of the data collected in that record. By the way, if you want to import shapefiles or data in other geospatial formats, you can do that too. Now let's go to the desktop and see how this plays out back at the office. Editing point information is simple. Here, the supervisor picks a pole, looks at all of the information available in Fulcrum, including signatures, photos, video, and audio. She also checks out the metadata associated with this point, including the point's location and the distance that this point is from the GPS of the inspector when he recorded it. She can edit that point. Here, I show that I can place it on a completely different street if need be. There's a complete audit trail to show who changed what, but I'm not going to save that record because that could be confusing for this demo. Next, the supervisor can look at all the information for the street, showing the points, the line, and the polygon that the inspector had previously collected. She focuses in on the line, accessing the record by clicking on it. Suppose she's decided that this information should really be limited to the pole, not to the line. She can click the Edit button, trash the original line geometry, and replace it with the point where the pole is located, which she can identify by the satellite imagery. Now the geometry of the record is updated. Next, she looks at the polygon that the inspector created and the record it's associated with. This scenario isn't terribly realistic, but for the sake of demonstration, look at how easy it is for her to manipulate the polygon the inspector created. She can move points as needed, or use the midpoints on each line to create new vertices. If she likes the shape but needs to transform it in other ways, she can shrink, enlarge, rotate, stretch, or in other ways manipulate what's there. She can also delete points on the polygon by two-finger clicking them until she has the shape she wants. Finally, it's possible that she wants to redraw the polygon entirely. Doing so is trivial, and once it's in place, she can edit it just like the one that the inspector created. Or she could say that the pole is a point and replace the whole thing with a point geometry. That's it for our demonstration. There's a ton more to learn about our geospatial capabilities, so if you're interested, visit Fulcrum at fulcrumapp.com.